Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed the derivation of the frequency of oscillation and the minimum gain required for the Hartley oscillator basic amplifier block to sustain the oscillation. Okay, so now in this video, let us solve one numerical based on those concepts. Okay, so the question is, this is very beautiful question, try to solve by your own first then see the solution from my this video i am always there to help you but you should try by yourself then in examination if some twisted question comes then also you can solve it easily okay so better you try with your own knowledge for the beginning from this question and then see my video okay so let us go to the question the question is a one picofarad capacitor is available okay choose the inductors inductor values there are two inductors l1 and l2 you know one is right side inductor another one is left side inductor so there are two inductors in a hartley oscillator so inductor values in a hartley oscillator so that f that is frequency of oscillation is 1 megahertz and beta what is beta beta is feedback gain or the gain offered by the feedback network is 0 0.2 okay so first note down the informations whatever is given in the question in the Hartley oscillator general diagram. See I have drawn here the general diagram of the Hartley oscillator. VCC is the DC bias voltage, RC is collector resistor, R1 and R2 are for base biasing. I have just uh, for the sake of drawing I have taken VC547. You can choose any NPN transistor. This, is, this does not matter in the numericals, but in the practical application, if you choose BC547, then uh, for a particular gain, the uh, biasing circuit configuration will be something. And if you apply some other NPN transistor like BC107 or like that, then voltage divider biasing circuit will change accord, uh, according to the transistor because you know that the design depends on the transistor parameters like beta value, IC and all those things, you know, right? So any transistor, any NPN transistor you can take. C, C in and C out are coupling capacitor. C is bypass capacitor. This is grounded. And the output we are taking in this feedback network and the output of the feedback network is fed in the input side. That is in the base. This is the basic block diagram or the circuit diagram of Hartley oscillator we know. Now, a one picofarad capacitor is available. Here, this capacitor indicates this capacitor that is the capacitor of the feedback network so this is one picofarad and we know one picofarad equal to 10 to the power minus 12 farad so that i have written here c is equal to one picofarad equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad right now l1 and l2 inductor values we have to determine and we are given the frequency of oscillation and beta okay so let us directly go to the solution so beta is 0 0.2 what do we know from the Barkhausen criteria? We know that to sustain the oscillation, this condition must be satisfied. That is mod of A into beta equal to 1, where A is the basic amplifier gain, beta is the feedback gain. Here we know beta. So let us calculate the A. So mod of A equal to 1 by 0 0.2, that is equal to 5. So mod of A equal to 5. And from our previous video, we know that A is equal to L2 by L1. That is right hand side inductance by left hand side inductance. Okay. So mod of A equal to L2 by L1. So we can uh, get here L2 by L1 equal to 5. So L2 equal to 5 L1, right? Where L2 is the right hand side inductance, L1 is the left hand side inductance. Now, we have two unknowns, L1 and L2. So obviously, we require two equations to get unique solution right so already one equation we got l2 equal to 5 l1 now from where we can get another equation see here it is clearly mentioned frequency of oscillation is 1 megahertz and we know what is the frequency of oscillation for Hartley oscillator f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of r of l1 plus l2 plus 2m into c but c in this question mutual inductance value is not given so that we will assume that m is equal to 0 right and from there we can get another equation between another relationship between L1 and L2, right? 
So C F is equal to one by two pi root of, of L one plus L two plus two M into C by assuming M equal to zero because it is not mentioned. We can simplify this and we can get F is equal to one by two pi root of, of L one plus five L one into C. C here instead of L two, I have substituted five L one because we know L two equal to five L one. We just got this from the uh, equation of A that is A equal to L two by L one, right? Now you substitute F. F is equal to what? F is equal to C in the question. It is given as one megahertz. That means one into ten to the power six hertz, right? So one into ten to the power six is equal to one by two pi root of of L one L one plus five L one. So six L one into C, right? Now you just simplify, and we can get root of of six L one into C. I will zoom it. Root of of six L one into C equal to 1.59 into 10 to the power minus 7. So 6L1 into C is equal to 2.53 into 10 to the power minus 14. Just square both side and we can get this. And from here L1 equal to 4 in 4.22 into 10 to the power minus 3. We are getting. Okay. Substitute C value in this equation and we can get this L1. So L1 inductance, that is inductor value of the left hand side is. L1 is 4.22 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry or 4.22 milli Henry, right? Because 1 milli Henry equal to 10 to the power minus 3 Henry, right? And what is L2? The right hand side inductance value equal to. See here, we got the equation L2 equal to 5 L1. So just substitute, and we can get L2 equal to 5 L1 equal to 21.1 milli Henry. Okay. So These type of numericals you can easily solve if you just remember these two equations. That is, the frequency of oscillation for the Hartley oscillator is given by F is equal to one by two pi root of r of L one plus L two plus two m into C, where m is the mutual inductance, and the basic amplifier gain to sustain the oscillation is A is equal to right hand side inductance by left hand side inductance. Okay, so two equations if They are giving two unknowns. Then also you can easily solve these type of numericals may come in your semester examination related to analog electronic circuit paper. This is very important. With this, we end up the Hartley oscillator concept. One more uh, derivation is left. That is uh, basic amplifier gain for the Colpit oscillator in uh, oscillation frequency. That I will derive, and then I will show you one numerical based on that in Colpit oscillator. So with this, we will wind off the oscillator module. I hope you can see all the videos according to uh, serially means serially uh, one by one. You can access from the playlist. I will give you the link of my oscillator playlist video in the description of my this video. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful for your preparation, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.